hello friends welcome to my channel so in this video I'm going to uh, uh, teach you how to print a text area from a Kinter window okay you can uh, print any text area from a Kinter window so uh, for that uh, first of all we need to import our Kinter module so let us import it like this from the Kinter import all okay and uh, also we need two more modules here for giving the uh, our operating system commands we need OS module and also we need a module named temp file so temp file is a module which is used to create temporary files and those temporary files are printed by our operating system okay so uh, first of all let us make a text area from uh, within our kinter uh, i mean you, uh, let's make a gui all right so uh, let us create our printing a root I mean, we, I'm giving it an, a name. You can give any name. You can simply keep keep it right, uh, like root. So, using TK, we are creating an object window, and uh, let us give it some title, printing root, or uh, let me simply call it root because uh, it it will be a lot of typing all right so let us give it a title uh, printing uh, tutorial all right so or printing demo we can say this is a demo and uh, let us give our window some geometry so let us take a window of 900 width and uh, 600 height okay so now let us create some uh, printing area uh, so for uh, first let us create a label and uh, within this label we will create a text that is printing area all right and uh, uh, let us give it a font of uh, let us say elephant and uh, 20 okay elephant 20 all right and uh, uh, let us place it in our uh, main window that is at x is equal to let us suppose 100 and y is equal to maybe 20 okay so that's all and let us give some uh, fg color that is light blue so let us see how it looks now oh and we need to run our main loop root dot main loop so let us run it okay geometry 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 spelling is wrong so let me correct it and run so this is my printing area uh, I think 4g should be a little brighter maybe brown all right so this is our label now let us create our printing area so uh, i will create a text area okay so basically this is the entry area uh, and for that we use our text uh, class so this creates a area where you can type multi lines number of lines okay so let us give it some 4g maybe light yellow uh, sorry f and bg i will give it some bg okay and uh, i think i will place it simply like this place it at x is equal to 
maybe 100 again and the y equals 100 and let us give it some width of maybe 400 and height of 300 so this will be our text area so let us check this so this is our text area we can type here see we can type multi lines all right so text area is created now let us create our button for printing so this button we will use for printing and uh, text will be simple print all right so let us place it somewhere around x is equal to maybe 300 and y is equal to maybe 450 let us see how it goes uh, button object is okay okay so uh, i need to type place all right so this is our button now let us uh, make it a little uh, make it look somewhat good so i will give it some font uh font uh, maybe medium and size maybe 15 and uh, let us take some uh, bg of uh, maybe green and fg of maybe uh maybe maybe red and uh, active background let us give maybe yellow all right so let us see how it looks now so okay so let us give it somewhat more space from the that okay okay so uh and bold let us give it some more width and uh, let us keep this light green and this one brown okay all right let us keep this one okay so after making some corrections i think this looks good okay so this is the button for printing so whatever text will be there uh, we have to configure this button in such a way that uh, this text gets printed okay so for printing we will create a function so let us create a function and we need to create this function above the our uh, this button above it so uh, in this um, print area function uh, we will and we will pass some uh, text also no? so let us say text is a or any text maybe text uh, txt let us keep it txt okay and from this button that is this is our button we will give command and we will use here lambda function so lambda and uh, function uh, which we are going to call is print underscore area and we will pass some argument so what argument we will pass so we need to pass and let me keep it like this so we need to pass here some argument within this function and this argument should carry the text from the text area so for that we need to get whatever is within this text area okay so we know how to get any text so i will simply use the get function and the get uh, for text we use uh, this indexing in this um, you know you need to uh, pass this one as a text and from one to end you need to get all of this and this this get function will uh, copy all the text from this text area and it will pass to this print area function and this function will get called once you click this button so let us check if this function gets clicked so for checking i will simply type here simply checking okay okay so if this function gets called correctly 
uh, then um, this function is called all right so let us print here so here you can see in our console we got the text checking okay okay so our function is getting called now let us check if the that text is getting passed from the uh, text area or not so uh, what we are passing here here this name of the variable is txt so this txt and this uh, text area dot get so this total becomes txt because we are passing this from here to here so txt is is equal to text area dot get it automatically becomes this okay so whatever is passed from text area it is it got passed here and now we are printing that txt there okay so let us check if we get the text in our console so again let us uh, um, checking our text area so this text this must appear in our console once i click this print window so okay print and see this text appears here so that that means this print statement is it it is getting um, run and uh, this text is passed it is getting passed from our text area to this function okay so we got our text now we need to use our os module and temp file module to uh, you know to simply print this uh, our text okay okay so for that we need to use some uh, commands here and uh, these are specific commands and i will simply i have already copied them here so i will edit them somewhat according to our program so see first of all we need to create some uh, this temporary file okay and this file it can be any kind of and we will create here txt file because we have a text here okay and then uh, we will open this file using this open function and this function is uh, from our uh, python okay so it is uh, our uh, a function within our python language so um, and then we will write on this and what we will write we will not write this we will simply write our text that is txt all right so i will simply uncomment this this uh, thing here this command here okay so our temporary file will get generated and it is using our temp file module to create a temporary file so temp file dot mk temp dot txt this creates our temp temporary file now we will open this temporary file and you need to pass this w as argument so that our um, program knows that uh, okay we are opening it to write something onto this file okay and using this write function we will write whatever text is getting passed from that that text area so we will simply txt we will put it here okay and now once this text is written on this file that is temporary file we will print this file using print command and how we we reach to our print command we we use this os module and within os module there is this start file function and you start this file temporary file and what you will uh, ask your operating system you will ask operating system to print this file okay so it simply uh, um, works like this you mean th i mean this os module this simply uh, calls your uh, print command from your operating system okay so i don't have uh, a printer here but you can still uh, see this let us see how it works okay so let me write something and let us go for fun maybe okay now let me click this print print so you can see here it is working so this is our temporary file you can see there there is a notepad file here let us go for fun it is uh, written on this file same text which was written on our text area and here you can see now printing come this 
this command here so now printing but you can see because we don't have a uh, we don't have any printer with us so now it is asking me uh, if i want to uh, save this file as our any file so uh, print dot printer so let us give it a name to this file and uh, let me keep this file on our this desktop so pdf so it did it didn't get print but let us see if if we got our file saved so you can see this is our pdf file here and this is our text okay so if you don't have a printer it will give you the uh, this option for saving it as a pdf or if you if you do have a printer it will simply get print okay and i uh, that's that's how it works and you can also keep this file for later uh, suppose if you don't have a printer you simply save it like a pdf and then you go and find a printer and print this file from this pdf so that you can uh, that you also can do so i think uh, we got what we have wanted so this is how our print how we can print our text area from a printer text area so that's all for now uh, for more please uh, stay tuned subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, so that i can uh, i so that i know that yeah you are uh, liking my video and i should create more for you so that's all for now thank you take care bye bye